In this tutorial, I am going to show you three steps 3D infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks when I click. It will show you the first 3D shape. You can put your title here on the left and on your right you can add the detailed text. I have given a shadow effect and on the left you can put the options A or 1 and on right side you can add the icons to it. And when I click the second option comes with a different color and then the third option comes and I have made one more slide with the same color and another slide some different color options and the third one is a, a plain gray color and I've used office 365 version and if you want you can do this from 2010 provided you need to enable the merge options in 2010 and the higher version is already enabled so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray color. Go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, select a rectangle and draw a rectangle. Maybe this much size and this we can increase or decrease later on. Shape outline, make it no outline, right mouse click, go to format shape and increase the transparency level. And I'm going to add uh, two right triangles for that. Go to insert shapes, select a right triangle, draw a right triangle, covering the rectangle. And again, I'm going to give some different color to it and shape and this transparency also make it 50% uh, shape outline, make it no outline and go to rotate and just say flip horizontal press ctrl d to duplicate this one let me just zoom in so that you can see here and i'm just going to place on at the bottom here so you can see here i have added one rectangle and two right triangles and i have placed one above and one at the bottom then uh, you have to make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise uh, when you do a uh, merge shapes it sometimes uh, some borders will be visible to avoid that one you need to spend some time to make sure it is properly aligned now i'm going to select this rectangle first and hold the shift key and select the right triangle on the top under format tab go to merge shapes and just say union and then this shape is already selected again hold the shift key and select the bottom green one and merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting this shape now let me just zoom out and i'm going to select this particular shape press ctrl d to duplicate it and go to format rotate and select flip vertical and just place it exactly the opposite direction and then i'm going to insert shapes and select one rectangle draw a rectangle covering both the shapes and you can give for the meantime a different color shape outline make it no outline and then send to back now i'm just going to remove this gradient fill or sorry the transparency so you can see here we got this shape and i can increase or decrease depending on my requirement for example i'll just select all by pressing ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it and i can increase the size something like this so then we will just do the next step is uh, to recolor these shapes so let's give some nice colors i'm going to use uh, first of all ungroup this select the first shape on the left select gradient fill i have used uh, a while ago so that's the reason it's showing the same color or if you want you can just change the color so i have used two stops generally it will be four stops you have to delete the two stops and keep only two so the first one i'm going to give some lighter color go to more colors and for example i want to use something this color yellow 
with the combination of orange so i'm selecting the second stop go to more colors and select a darker orange so you got this shape and this one also i'm just going to select a gradient fill and you can see here it's already selected and the this one the background i'm going to select a darker orange first let me just select the orange which i have selected this and then go to more colors customs and increase the shade here and click ok so this way you can just change the color of the shape i'm going to add one more shape in the background for that let me just go to insert shape select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill let me just select a light color send this to back let me just increase a little bit hold the alt key and increase the size a little bit and then i'm going to give a shadow effect for this go to effects go to shadows and presets i'm going to go to inner and i'm selecting this one inside top left and increase the distance you can see here and let me just remove this guidelines so here this is how it looks and then you can give a more uh, shadow effect for example i want to give a shadow effect go to insert shapes select a triangle draw a triangle rotate it flip vertical shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to place it here and if you want you can reduce the size and you can just change the direction also select the gradient fill first i'm just going to select one darker color which is a black color and change the direction to something which is this one the black should come on top and select the this second stop eyedropper select the background color and transparency make it 100 percent and this also you can increase the transparency level and you can go to effects soft edges and increase the soft edges you can see here and increase the size if required and just place it exactly here and i can increase the size a little bit so you can see here the shadow effect or if i want i can just make the shadow effect something like this also and now it's time to add the text on the left side you can add the title and on the right side you can add the detail text first let me just go to insert text i'll just say your title here and center align use some nice font maybe i'll use arial and bold bring it here but if you see here if i just put here it is not properly aligned so what i need to do is i need to give some 3d rotation to this text to give the 3d rotation you have got the shape options and you have got the text options so we are working with the text so i have to select the text options and go to effects and here you can see there's something called 3d rotation select the 3d rotation scroll down presets and i'm going to select this one off axis one right so you can see here it is properly aligned here and i can give a white text to it white color Control d to duplicate this and i'm going to select here and let me just your detail text goes here you can add more detail text let me just increase reduce the size make it no bold 
and again this not looking good so preset i have to set at this one which is off access to left so you can see here we have got the title and the detail text and you can add more the option number here i will just say a increase the size i'll select the same font which is arial and the color also i'm going to choose the same color which is this one and here you can insert some icons go to insert icons and select any icon insert and put it here color also i'm going to use the same color so you can see here one design is ready i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a and group it ctrl g move this up again ctrl d for the second one again ctrl d for the third if you have space you can make it three or four or five also this is a b and c and then you need to ungroup this i'll select all these press ctrl shift g to ungroup it and then again you can change the color as you like for these options and you can just go and change the icons you can go to format change graphics to from icons and you can just select a different icon directly here and just change the color to whatever the color you have selected now it's time to do the animation to do the animation i have to select this first of all this particular uh, shape so i'm just going to select this you can see here the 3d shape without the shadow effect so i can just use my mouse select it and release it so all whatever required it will be selected and press ctrl g to group it you can see here and i can just say send back so that it goes back into this one and likewise i'm just going to select this again press ctrl g and again send back and this also i'm just going to select and press ctrl g and send this to back now it's time to do the animation first of all i'm going to select this you can see here i have made one group so i'm going to select this go to animations enable the animation pane add animation go to more entrance effect and i'm going to use the stretch you can see here click ok when i play it comes something like this and then the shadow effect should come for this i can give a wipe effect should come from top and this should happen maybe with previous but i will just increase the delay so if i play it comes something like this and then i'm going to select this as well as this both by holding the shift key add animation more entrance effect and i'm going to use the stretch stretch select this one this should come from right and this should come from left and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here let me just play here it's easy right so now it's very easy for me i'll just select this animation painter click on this select the shadow effect animation painter click on this and then i will select this for b and this one for the second icon and again i'm just going to repeat it the same thing select b and apply it on c and select this and apply it on this so let me just uh, show you you can see here when i click it's showing the first title the second option and the third option 
so it's very easy to do in powerpoint that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye